Please be seated. I would ask that you please turn off your cell phones or put them on vibrate. Good morning. I am Pablo Arenas, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. I want to welcome you to Texas A&M International University's 2016 Spring Commencement Ceremony. This is the first of three ceremonies we will have today. This morning, the College of Arts and Sciences will graduate 306 undergraduate students. The largest graduating class we've had for arts and sciences. This afternoon, the A.R. Sanchez School of Business will graduate 151 students, and the College of Arts and Sciences will graduate 222 graduate students. In the late afternoon ceremony, the College of Education, the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, and University College will graduate 198 students. In total, by the end of the day today, we will have graduated 680 students. As is our tradition, we will now present the flags of the nation that are represented in this morning's graduating class. As each flag is introduced, will the graduating students from that country please rise and remain standing. Ghana. Venezuela. Mexico. <laughs> the United States of America. <laughs> this morning, members of the Tamu Army Reserve Officer Training Program are presenting the U.S. flag. Please rise and join Ms. Alexis Reyes, who is graduating today with a Bachelor's of Music and singing the National Anthem. And gentlemen, please remove your hats. You may be seated. This morning, the university mace was carried by Dr. Jim Norris, president of the faculty senate. The faculty marcher who led the students in the processional is Dr. William Altamimi, assistant professor of mathematics.
The College of Arts and Sciences is recognizing outstanding graduates by asking them to serve as student marshal and college banner bearer. Will you please rise when I call your name and remain standing? Serving as student marshal is Melba Gomez Salinas. The banner bearer is Kevin Sanchez. Congratulations on your success. You may be seated. I'm now pleased to introduce the stage party. To my left is Dr. Ray Keck, president of the university. Next to Dr. Keck is Mr. Robert Alvaritten, Texas A&M University System Regent and our commencement speaker. Next to him is Dr. Manita Ramirez, Vice President for Student Success. To my right is Mr. Juan Castillo, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Next to him is Ms. Roseanne Palacios, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. We're also joined by Dr. Tom Mitchell, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Stephen Sears, Dean of the Ayer Sanchez School of Business. Dr. Catherine Whiteman, Dean of the College of Education. Dr. Glenda Walker, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Dr. Jim Norris, who was introduced earlier. Dr. Jeff Brown, Dean of Graduate Studies and Research. Dr. Conchita Hickey, Dean of University College. Mr. John Alistair Love, President of the Alumni Association. And Mr. Joshua Yamas, outgoing President of Student Government Association. I would also like to recognize a very special guest who's in the audience with us, our County Judge, Sano Quijarina. I now invite Dr. Keck to introduce our commencement speaker. Soon to be graduates, parents, family, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, Mr. Robert L. Albritton. Robert Albritton graduated with honors from Texas A&M University in 1971, where he majored in both economics and marketing. Upon graduation, Mr. Albritton was com commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. He has had a storied career in the business world. In 1978, he joined Texas American Bank as senior vice president. Shortly thereafter, he formed his first independent company, All Britain Development Company, which became the holding company for other ventures, including Mayfair Capital, All Britain Energy, an oil and gas company, and All Britain Partners, a nationally recognized real estate development company. In 1988, he formed Mayfair Investments LLC a company that he continues to serve as chairman and CEO. In 1994, Mr. Albritton started Railroad Controls Limited, RCL. Under his leadership, RCL became the largest privately owned railroad signaling and communication company in America. Expansion of services to railroads has continued with the formation of RCL Wiring and RCL Burco. Another company continues to serve as chairman and CEO. Mr. Albritton has served on a number of public and private sector boards. He is active in several charitable and civic organizations involved in both the United States Golf Association and the Southern Golf Association, and of paramount importance to us. In 2015, our governor, Rick Abbott, appointed him to the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, where he serves to safeguard education and the future for all students in the Texas A&M University system. Regent All Britain, welcome to Laredo. Good morning. It is a tremendous honor to stand before you today. Uh, as always, it's very humbling to stand before new graduates. I remember vaguely, very vaguely, when I sat where you're sitting today. And one of the things that I do remember the most is that I couldn't even begin to tell you who my commencement speaker was. So one of the things I want to impart on you today is that throughout this 
this small commencement speech, I will not be trying to impart any type of wisdom. You have that. You've spent four years attaining that. At least these people up here certainly hope you have attained that. <laughs> the other is, <clears throat> I would like to thank, obviously, President Keck for his kind remarks. You know, there were a few more I would have given you if you'd asked, but, <laughs> and his faculty, his staff, but most importantly, to the parents, to the grandparents, to the siblings, to the friends. What a wonderful occasion we are celebrating here today. And let me look at my pen. Yes, yes, yes. And if elected president of the United States, <laughs> I want you to know there will be no damn wall. Wait, wrong speech. Hold on. So wait a minute. Let me go back. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out exactly what a dust devil is. I know that I've seen them, but I'm trying to figure out how you get a mascot to do that. I'm just not really sure I totally understand that. Again, we are here today to celebrate you. We're here to celebrate the sacrifices that each and every one of you all have had to make to get here today. There's no doubt that you are a part of an incredible university, a university that is ranked number one in the country with the highest Hispanic population of students anywhere in the country. You have one of the best, what we call, return on investments for your education, meaning that the cost of this education is going to be well worth your time. And that is something very important as you look at schools. All the time and the money I spent, is it going to be worth it? And I'm going to tell you today, absolutely it is. You're going to go out in the world with a degree. Let me tell you today that more than likely, you will not use that degree. You will use the learning experience that you have garnered from your four years here, five years, six years, in my case, seven, maybe eight, but you will use that. You will use the inquisitiveness that you have learned to ask the right questions, look for the right answers. The vast majority of CEOs that have been very successful that I know do not use their undergraduate or graduate degree. They have basically spent their time understanding what it is that I must do to be successful. They spend their time determining what it is my dream is. And I'm going to tell you today, dream big, dream often. Because without that, really, what's the purpose? Understand also that every journey starts with the first step. Today, we're taking a big step. But I'm going to go back to dream big. When you think you've hit your attainment of your dream or your goal, change it. Move it further out. The other thing that I will tell you is that never forget the sense of urgency. Remember the word urgency. It isn't going to happen for you. You're going to have to make it happen. And the advantage that you will have if you have the sense of urgency is you will understand what it takes. It's not going to come to you. You've got to go to it. So always remember that I can't wait. I have to continue to move forward. Understand also that success is not a bad word. Success is a good word. Success is just basically another way of saying 
I am on the road to attaining my dream. Never ever let anyone tell you that to be successful you had to do it on the back of somebody else. That is not true in the remotest way of a definition. You're successful because you worked harder, you worked smarter, you worked longer. That's success. Success also is not necessarily monetary. Success is measured, am I happy? Am I doing what I want to do? And am I, am I as good as I possibly can be at what I am doing? That is success. The other thing I will tell you is that to be successful, you have to learn how to fail. You cannot be afraid of failure. For failure is just another step to success. And anyone that can sit and tell me that they have not failed, they have not tried. The secret here is when you fail, two things. You get up, you dust yourself off, you put a big smile on your face and you say, what did I learn? Then I move on. But if I'm not secure in knowing I can fail, I promise you I will never learn the taste of success. So also remember that failure hurts. There's a sting to failure. Embrace that, remember that, because every time I fail, I know I don't want to do that. I want to learn from that, and I want to move on to success. Never, ever, ever be afraid to make a decision. Decisions are not always going to be perfect, but at least you had the gumption to make that decision. Make it live with the consequences, and live, always look forward. Our insane asylums across this country are full of people that spend their life looking backwards. Life is not lived in the rearview mirror. Life is lived through the front windshield. Always remember that life is in front of us. It's not behind us. Not to say we don't learn from history. We do. And if we don't learn from history, history is bound to repeat itself. So always look forward. Always carry yourself with total and complete understanding, compassion, but most importantly, self-confidence that I can do this job. You're graduating today because you have done a job. You wouldn't be here if you hadn't made the sacrifices. You wouldn't be here if your family hadn't made their sacrifices. So many times in these speeches, we talk about students. However, I think that none of us would agree we'd be here if we didn't have the support of our parents, our friends, our grandparents. And for that, I would like all of the parents, grandparents to stand up and let us acknowledge you. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that matters. Failure will not kill you. Always remember that. We're going to learn from that and we're going to persevere. Always get up dust yourself off, and get on with the next mission. I would like to share two things with you all in conclusion. One of them is very personal. I have four children, all of them graduates of A&M. The second son was in high school, and he, you might say, was a fairly independent-minded young man. And his senior year, in high school, I got a call from the principal and said, uh, Mr. Albritton, I've got some bad news for you. Your, your son 
was uh, experiencing another PDA, and I go, PDA? What's PDA? Public display of affection. Now, you know, that's, a, that's an interesting thing. And so I said, well, I'm very sorry. What, what do you want to do? He said, well, I want to basically put him in rest period. And I said, well, what does that mean? He said, well, I want to send him home for a couple of days. And I said, well, you know, you're not going to do that. And he goes, well, what do you mean you're not going to do that? I said, no, you're going to expel him. He said, what? He said, no, you're going to expel him. It's time this young man comes to grip with decisions that he has made. So I went and I picked him up. And in Fort Worth, Texas, there is a street downtown. And on this street, there are three recruiting offices, Army, Navy, Air Force. I said, son, pick one. And he looked at me and he goes, you're kidding, right? I said, no, pick one. So he said, well, I guess I'll pick the Navy. Well, the Navy said, you know, you look like a, a uh, good candidate, but you're going to have to go back and get your GED. Because I pulled him out of school. He went and he got his GED. Next day, he went to the Navy. He excelled in the Navy. As a matter of fact, he was on the Teddy Roosevelt when the first planes took off in the invasion of Afghanistan. He had moved up to deck chief. And he came one day to me and said, you know, Dad, I'm not, I think that I want to do something other than Navy. And I said, well, that's fine, but you're not getting out of the Navy until you can tell me what your plan is. So he said, you know what, I want to go to college and I want to be a banker. So he went back, he got out of the Navy, he went to Fort Worth Junior College, got a four point, got accepted into Mays Business School at A&M, got a four point, graduated, went into banking, and today runs a very successful company. The purpose of me telling you this story is you never stop moving. You learn from your mistakes and you persevere. The last thing I'd like to do is I wrote a letter for you all. And it's a letter to the world on your behalf. And if I can, let me read it real quick. Dear world, our dust devils graduate today. It is going to be sort of a strange and new to them for a while, and I wish you would sort of treat them gently. You see, up to now, they have been the king or queen of the roost. They have been boss of the backyard. Their parents have always been near to soothe and repair their feelings. But now things are going to be different. Today, they are going to walk across this stage, wave their hand, and start out on the great adventure. It is an adventure that might take them across continents, across oceans. It's an adventure that will probably include wars and tragedy and sorrow. To live their lives in the world they will have to live in will require faith, love, and courage. So world, I wish you would sort of look after them. Take them by the hand and teach them things they will have to know, but do it gently if you can. They will have to learn that people are not just, that all people are not true, but teach them also that for every scoundrel, there's a hero. That for every crooked politician, there's a great and dedicated leader. Teach them that for every enemy, there is a friend. It will take time, world, I know. But teach them that a nickel earned is a far more, far more value than a dollar found. Teach them to lose so they will enjoy winning that much more. Steer them away from envy if you can and teach them the secret of quiet laughter. Let them learn early that bullies are the easiest people to whip in the schoolyard. Teach them the wonders of books, but also teach them to ponder the internal mystery of birds on the wing and bees in the sun and flowers on the green. In life world, teach them it is much more honorable to fail than to cheat. Teach them to have faith in their own ideas, even if everyone says they are wrong. Teach them to be gentle with gentle people and tough with tough people. Try to give these graduates the strength not to follow the crowd when everyone is getting on the bandwagon. Teach them to listen to all people, but teach them also to filter all they hear on a screen of truth that takes the good that siphons through. Teach them how to laugh when they are sad. 
Teach them there is no shame in tears. Teach them that there can be glory in failure and despair in success. Teach them to scoff at cynics and to beware of too much sweetness. Teach them to sell their brains and brawn to the highest bidder, but never, ever put a price tag on their heart. Teach them how to close their ears to the howling mob, but to stand and fight if they think they are right. Teach them there are times when they must gamble and there are times when they must pass the dice. Treat them gently, world, if you can, but don't coddle them, because only the test of fire makes fine steel. Let them have the courage to be impatient. Let them have patience to be brave. Let them be no man or woman's subjugate. Teach them always to have sublime faith in themselves, because then they will always have sublime faith in mankind. This is quite an order world, but you see what you can do. You see, they are special. They are dust devils, and they are ready to embrace you. Yours truly, Bob Albritton. Thank you, Regent All Britain. Please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude and to remind you of this May morning, 2016. Thank you. Now we come to my favorite part of the ceremony. It is now my honor to introduce Veronica Giselle Chavez, the distinguished student scholar from the College of Arts and Sciences who present remarks this morning. Veronica, will you please make your way to the stage? <laughs> Veronica is the daughter of Veronica and Luis Chavez. She graduated from the Health and Science Magnet at Alexander High School in 2012. Today, she graduates summa cum laude with a bachelor's degree in biology, having attained a 4.0 grade point average. I have to talk to my colleagues in biology about that. While a student at Tammy U, Veronica was a member of the Honors Program, the Early Medical School Acceptance Program, sophomore leaders involved in change, the Honors Council, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Tammy U, and was co-president of Tammy U's American Medical Student Association. I don't know how she got her 4.0, my gosh. She has been involved in many leadership activities, resulting in her earning all five of the Tammy U Trailblazer badges. She was inducted into Tri Beta, Biological Honor Society, and Phi Kappa Phi, the Honor Society. Ms. Chavez was awarded a Star Scholarship, a Top 10 Scholarship, and a STEM Scholarship. She conducted research on the inhibition of HIV reverse transcriptase by plant lectins with Dr. Ruby Yanalvis. Veronica will begin medical school at the University of Texas Medical Branch, Galveston, in the fall. She plans to focus on gastroenterology and wants to return to Laredo to practice. Please welcome the College of Arts and Sciences Distinguished Student Scholar, Veronica Giselle Chavez. Thank you, Dr. Arenas. Good morning, Dr. Keck. Distinguished stage guests, parents, friends, family, faculty, staff, and members of the graduating class of 2016. It is an honor to stand before you today as your representative at such a memorable and much anticipated event. Graduates, we are all here through the support of many, most notably our parents, family members, and friends. Today, we salute and dedicate these diplomas to you. The passion that we shared as students can be defined as a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement about doing something. Throughout this journey, each one of us has depended on our passion for our chosen career path and future success. As we reminisce about our journey, let's travel back to the starting point on this road to success, choosing the right university. 
When we chose Tammy U, we knew that our education would be valuable and our experience would be personal. Walking through this beautiful campus, we observed our coexistence with nature, the planetarium, the Killam Library's great room, and the impressive Sharkey Corrigan organ, where we first heard our alma mater during our unforgettable days at Dusty Camp. Throughout our undergraduate career, we encountered many opportunities and faced many obstacles, but our passion guided us to our goals. We all spent countless hours studying away at the great room, enjoying the beautiful view, and accumulating Starbucks rewards with our never-ending coffee runs. We also indulged in SGA's Taco Tuesday and the free breakfast and donuts provided during finals week. Our individual wants and desires, guided by the fear of failure and the will to succeed, made possible sorry, set us on the course to success, made possible by equal parts of education and experience. Setting this university in a league all its own, Tamiya's professors are personal, engaging, and passionate. With small class sizes, most of our professors knew us on a first name basis, opening several new doors to opportunities. We undertook quality research with faculty members, and by working with them, we gain knowledge and experience for conferences and events, both local and across the country. Their dedication, both through time and effort, surely reflects on the quality of our education. They have a passion not only to convey their knowledge, but to instill a similar passion within us to learn and grow. Now the future is up to us. As the late Nelson Mandela observed, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. The education we obtained at MEU has also been measured with experiences. From the opening of the Senator Judith Safarini Student Success Center, to the addition of the Skylab, to the bright green dinosaur we have all taken pictures with, TAMIU has grown with us. Through experiences on and off campus, study abroad, organizations, and community service, we became agents of change, making our community a better place for all of us. Likewise, the experience of being part of the honors program or living the Greek life as dust devils helped us to network, socialize, and build lifelong friendships. We all attended lectures, plays, concerts, and games, we obtain leadership roles, striving to motivate others and earn Tamiu Trailblazers dimensions. All of these experiences fundamentally enhance the value of our education. As we transformed the world around us, we too were transformed. As Dr. Minita Ramirez has once said, part of the value is determined by this. A diploma is as valuable as those that graduated before us and the value of the diploma for those that come after us will be measured by what we do with our diploma. And now class of 2016, each one of us as individuals and as a collective group have the tremendous responsibility to continue making our university prosper for years to come. For all of us, this is only the beginning. Some of us will continue pursuing an education, attending professional or graduate schools. Others will join the workforce, excelling and encouraging those they encounter to pursue their dreams. And yet some will move on to a completely new environment to again master and conquer. Our future will always be fundamentally grounded in the education and experience provided by our great TAMIU. Class of 2016. So, as newly integrated alumni, let's make our university proud. Let's show enthusiasm and excitement in everything that we do. No matter what we choose to pursue or what direction our lives take, let's make sure we remain passionate and above all, strive to be the best we can possibly be. I am Tammy Yu. We are Tammy Yu. Forever we will be Tammy Yu. Thank you. Thank you for those uh, inspiring words.
and we would like to present you with this small gift so that you can remember this day also. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dr. Keck, will you please join me at the podium? And now, will all the candidates for the respective degrees and all faculty please rise. <laughs> Dr. Keck, I certify that the graduates whose names will appear on the official graduation list will have completed all work required for their degrees and will be in compliance with the policies and regulations as approved by the Board of Regents and published in the official catalog of Texas A&M International University. On behalf of this community of scholars, the faculty and staff, I recommend that their degrees be conferred. By the authority vested in me, by the Chancellor, by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University system, acting under the enabling legislation establishing this university and in pursuance of the faculty and academic administration, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree to which you are entitled with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Baccalaureate graduates, you may now move the tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Please be seated. Marshall, will you please escort the candidates to the stage? Mr. President, I now present to you those individuals upon whom a baccalaureate degree from the College of Arts and Sciences has been conferred. Graduating summa cum laude, Veronica Giselle Chavez. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Jose Manuel Acosta. Jasmine Berenice Alonso. <laughs> Stephanie Alvarado. Andres Alvarez. Jose, I'm sorry, Jorge Luis Alvarez. Diana Laura Arellano. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Rebecca Ann Arenas Kirby. <laughs> Patricia Guadalupe Arriaga. Emilia Ado Mensa. Amanda Barrera Luan. Rafael Angel Benavides Jr. Javier Benavides.
Brooke Berrios. Luis Ignacio Berrumen Álvarez. Eduardo Van. Celeste Cantú Guerra. Valerie Carrillo. Graduating summa cum laude, Gabriela Nanette Castillo. Selena Michelle Cervantes. Graduating summa cum laude, Martha Laura Chapa. Kelly Cisneros. Graduating magna cum laude, Mariana Clark. Graduating cum laude, Lucia Cristina Cortez. Tait Cortez. Graduating magna cum laude, Reba Marie Cortez. Dulce Y. Cruz. Elizabeth Cuapio Mendoza. Darío R. Delgado. Graduating summa cum laude, Itzel Araceli Delgado. Jennifer Dominguez. Graduating cum laude, Melinda Lee Downey. Arlene Duran. Ana Esteves. <laughs> Melissa Facundo. <laughs> Fabiola Isabel Fernandez Garcia. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Stephanie Fimbres. Jesus Alfredo Flores. Julian Antonio Flores. Miguel Eduardo Flores. Graduating summa cum laude, Anna Giselle Gableman. Roxana Malu Galindo. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Joaquin Isaías Gallegos. <laughs> Christopher J. Garcia. <laughs> Gracie Renee Garcia. Irene Garcia. <laughs> Lia Nabil Garcia Guerrero. <laughs> Nikki Corrine Garcia. <laughs> Osvaldo T. Garcia. Kayla Garibay Harris. <laughs> Fabiola Garcia.
Patricia Garza. Graduating magna cum laude, Alexandra Gomez. Graduating summa cum laude, Carolina Jacqueline Gomez. Alma Annette Gonzalez. Graduating magna cum laude, Brenda Gonzalez. Diana Garro. Lori Michelle Gonzalez. Christina Margarita Gonzalez. Jesus Gonzalez III. Jonathan Aron Gonzalez. Monica Raquel Gonzalez. Randy Gonzalez. Stephanie A. Gonzalez. Graduating cum laude, Hector Guillermo Gonzalez Cantu. Daniela Guerrero. Ana Karen Gutierrez. Graduating magna cum laude, Jacqueline Amy Gutierrez. Jorge Alberto Gutierrez. Tiffany Ann Hale. Graduating cum laude, Juan Antonio Hermosillo, Jr. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude. Now, back, back, back. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude. Dulce Hernandez Ruiz. Eric Rosendo Hernandez. Graduating cum laude, Maria del Rosario Herrera. Graduating summa cum laude, Ashley Nicole Height. Graduating cum laude, Carla Alexia Ibarra. Graduating cum laude, Mario V. Herrero. Aleida Franceli Haragi. Graduating magna cum laude, Brandy Lee King. Berenice Alejandra Lara. Graduating cum laude, Esperanza Lara. Jasmine Arlette Lasso. Melissa Raquel Leal. Maria Guadalupe Leija. Estela Araceli Lopez. 
graduating cum laude, Sarai E. Lopez. Angelina Victoria Martinez. Graduating cum laude, Ingrid Idet Martinez. Jose Roberto Martinez Hernandez. Graduating magna cum laude, Paula Anaí Martinez. Rochelle R. Martinez. Our next regent, student regent for the University, Texas A&M University system, Stephanie Yamilet Martinez. Thomas J. Martinez. Mary Lisa McKinnon Canul. Ana Maria Medina. Maria Luisa Rodriguez. Graduating cum laude, Mariana Nicole Mendiola. Celinda Raquel Mendoza. Fernando Tadeo Mendoza. Graduating summa cum laude, Barbara Elizabeth Montoya. Isela Marie Mora. Jonathan Morales. Luisa. Luisa Fernanda Moreno. Janice Alexandra Ochoa. Pamela Denise Ornelas. Cristina Orozco. Angelica Ortega. Daniela Ortegón. Sherry Ovalle. Victoria Palacios. Graduating summa cum laude. Nidia Crisel Peña. Juan Francisco Peñalosa III. Graduating cum laude. Cassandra Ruby Perez. Daisy Olivas. Graduating cum laude, Vanessa Prince. Claudia Ramirez Perez. Aiden Edwin Rendon. Sandra Monica Reyes. Alejandro Rocha.
César Inés Rodríguez. Cristel Paulina Rodríguez. Yunes Abigail Rodríguez Guerrero. Gerardo Guadalupe Rodríguez Jr. Ricardo Rodríguez. Samantha Jean Rodríguez. Silvia Annette Romero. Kiara Janilet Riojas. Jessica Rosales. Leticia Salazar. Zulema Bernadette Salazar. Alejandra Salinas. Graduating cum laude, Daniela Salinas. Graduating cum laude, Michaela Amber Luna Samiano. Miguel San Miguel. Graduating summa cum laude, Kevin Sanchez. Abril Anaí Santos. Eduardo Santos. Graduating magna cum laude, Amanda Irene Sarmiento. Brenda A. Servin. Nidia Solis. Alberto Solis, Jr. Claudia Yasmin Terrazas. Geraldine Tienda. <laughs> Stephanie N. Torres. <laughs> Carlos Alfredo Valdez. <laughs> Alejandra del Carmen Valenzuela. Graduating magna cum laude, Karen Annette Vallejo. Iris Gabriela Vasquez Guerrero. Ana M. Vela. Leonel Omar Vela. Paola Teresa Velázquez. Ana Karen Vergara Salinas. Genaro Villalobos III. Dinora Villarreal Alaniz. Catherine Elise Williams. Gustavo Guadalupe Zavala. Maricela V. Cadena.
Adalberto Beto González. Ricardo Guerrero. Ricardo Alejandro Garza. Graduating Magna Cum Laude, Alejandro Mireles. Alexis Reyes. Adán Villanueva. Victoria Esther Alexander. Graduating Magna Cum Laude, Andres Aranguren Parrado. Graduating Magna Cum Laude, Carla Melissa Calderon Garza. Mitzi Iliana Cantu. Mario Gerardo Casillas, Jr. Graduating cum laude, Carla M. Castillo. Janie Janelle Castro. Christian Cavazos. Graduating summa cum laude, Ana Cristina Chapa. Araceli Abigail de la Torre. Marisol de León. Gabriel Flores. Georgette Galvan. Alan Garcia. Griselda Alejandra Gomez Gil. Jose Enrique Gomez, Jr. Graduating summa cum laude, Melba Gomez Salinas. Graduating magna cum laude, Jorge Gonzalez, Jr. Carla Gonzalez. Oscar Daniel Gonzalez. Graduating Magna Cum Laude, Elizabeth Courtney Jamay Green. Alberto Antonio Gutierrez, Jr. Edgar Omar Hernandez. Graduating magna cum laude, Roger Hernandez. Jose Anastasio Ledesma. Graduating magna cum laude, Eric Daniel Lopez. Roxana Lopez Vila. Graduating magna cum laude, Jessica Isabel Lozano.
Maritza Annabelle Lozano. Jose Luis Mata, Jr. Graduating cum laude, Alejandra Mendez. Erica Stephanie Montemayor. Edgar Alexis Morales. Hector Jesus Moreno. Chelsea Brooke Nielsen. Graduating magna cum laude, Michelle Nunez. Vanessa Loralee Nunez. Esteban Otero Jr. Jose Gerardo Perez Rodriguez. I'm sorry, Jesus. Sergio Perez Jr. Graduating magna cum laude, Elizabeth Nicole Prieto. Alberto Gerardo Ramirez, Jr. Victoria Ramirez. Emma Jo Azusa Robledo. Graduating magna cum laude, Adrián Robles Arenas. Jose Humberto Rodriguez, Jr. Marisol Rodriguez Mendoza. Graduating magna cum laude, Yuridia Rodriguez. Graduating magna cum laude, Guillermo Saul Romero. Jorge Alfonso Ruyan. Jesús Saldaña Marín. Guillermina Sánchez. Mario Santos the Fourth. Adalberto Serna. Sergio Ricardo Cifuentes, Jr. Roberto Torres Sainz. Samantha Denise Ugarte. Alejandra Valdez. Mónica Mariel Vargas. Graduating magna cum laude, Homero Javier Vela Gómez. Agustín Velázquez. Raquel Adriana Yáñez.
Jovan F. Aguirre. Miriam Larisa Aguirre. Jorge Alberto Alba. María Magdalena Alejo. Graduating cum laude, Artfred Alvarez. David Reyes Avila. Mercedes Hortensia Camacho. Beverly N. Carrillo. Rosa Isela Chaires. Orlando Contreras. Cosme Geraldo Cortez. John Keith Cox II. Edgar Esquivel. Graduating cum laude, Karina Michelle Estrada. Estrella Laura Galvan. Charles Austin Garay, Jr. Alejandra Isamar Daniela Garcia. Graduating magna cum laude, Brenda Garcia. Elizabeth Marie Garcia. Roberto Garza Sainz. Graduating magna cum laude, Dora Elia Gonzalez. Rafael Gonzalez Rodriguez. Vanessa Gill. Suelen Guerrero. Giselle Gloria Hernandez. Blanca M. Hinojosa. Rodrigo Azahel Ibarra. Jonathan William LaFrance. Graduating cum laude, Gabriela Elizabeth Lara. Brenda Viridiana Leal. Daniel Magallanes. Gustavo Cesar Martinez, Jr. Oscar Martinez. Chelsea Elizabeth Meter. Dinora Yvette Mendiola. Sergio Emanuel Mendiola. Héctor D. Mireles. 
graduating cum laude, Luis Daniel Morales. Edith Alejandra Nuno. Melissa Guadalupe Parra. Diana Yesenia Perez. Rodolfo Perez. Abraham Quiroga. Graduating magna cum laude, Patricia, I'm sorry, Patricia Ramirez. Daira A. Ramos. Graduating cum laude, Miguel Vicente Rangel. Cynthia Yvette Rodriguez. Carla Crystal Rodriguez. Ronica Ann Salazar. Christian Eduardo Salinas. Salvador Alberto Segura. Daniel A. Silva. Garrett Michael Taggart. Graduating cum laude, Anna Karen Vasquez. Andrea Anaí Vela. Ricardo Verduzco. Elsa Raquel Villalón. Christian Yadir Villarreal. Juan Antonio Vizcarra, Jr. Luis Daniel Zavala, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the baccalaureate graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences. On behalf of the entire university community, I congratulate each of you upon the completion of your degree. In a few moments, graduates, you will go forward into this beautiful Laredo early summer morning, your diploma proclaiming your readiness to enter that company of men and women prepared by university experience to labor, to lead, to inspire. We in the university have done what we can for you. Now it is your turn. Contrary to what is often asserted, I assure you that the world waiting outside this campus is no more daunting or cruel or complex than the world has ever been. All literature and history, most especially ancient writings, record the same dizzying, confusing array. Cruelty and mercy, ignorance and enlightenment, greed and charity, falsehood and truth. Different, fragile, without precedent, is a government and a society conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men and all women are created equal. Thomas Jefferson articulated it, George Washington brought it to life, Abraham Lincoln preserved it, 
Eleanor Roosevelt saw clearly and helped us understand what it meant. Cesar Chavez and Martin Luther King brought reality and dream together. I challenge you, therefore, as you begin your work and your new life, inspired by these examples, prepared by this university and this splendid faculty, this conviction that the dignity and the welfare of each man and each woman is for all of us together our most precious possession. May it be said of you when you are done, we are better because he passed by. We are better because she was here. I invite you now to join me and salute the faculty and the staff of this university that carried you, mentored you, and loved you to this moment. A special thanks to Dr. James Moyer, the Tamiyu Symphonic Band, for this wonderful music throughout the entire ceremony. And now I invite Dr. Alistair Love, John Alistair Love, to offer some words for the Texas a and International University Alumni Association. Good morning, fellow Dust Devils. We have 306 more members of the Alumni Club as of this morning. <laughs> Dr. Keck may have been trying to give me a subliminal message. I first came to Laredo about 14 years ago for my master's degree, and maybe I need to come back now for my doctorate. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, this is an extraordinary crowd, and I believe we live in an extraordinary place and have had an extraordinary opportunity to be here at TAMIU. I would argue uh, that this is probably one of the tougher places in the world, and I'll share with you my brief story about TAMIU. I again came here 13 years ago. It was August. Mr. Albritton, it may have felt like I saw a dust devil because it was about 120 degrees. But I think that heat and or cold and or extreme places breed tough people. And what I've found from my experience with not only Laredo, but Tammy Yu, is that you will be extraordinarily prepared to go forth and achieve all that you want for you, your family, and your community. Part of graduating or being part of a club is that you have a network. And so not only have you uh, taken forth skills that will aid you in your future, but you're now part of a club. And so alumni clubs work in several different ways, but one of the greater parts of it is that you're now part of a network. So I sincerely hope that you will become a part of the alumni club, but also utilize everything that is a part of that. There are graduates in every field that you can imagine. There are graduates in almost every country that you can imagine. So please use the club and the part of the network that you have now become a part of. Congratulations. Thank you, Alistair. Now, I invite you all to stand and join music student Alexis Reyes in singing the alma mater, which is printed on the back of your program. After which, Josh Yamas, outgoing president of Student Government Association, will offer a prayer of gratitude. Son. 
sun and gentle breezes, dove and deer lodge safely by. May thy children, safe in wisdom, flourish ever neath the sky. Pledge we faith and homage ever, join in our diversity. May time near efface the memory of our university. Finding nations, hearts, and visions, aspirations ever new. Hail to thee, our alma mater, hail to thee, dear Tamiru. We would like to invite our alumni, family, and friends to dedicate this time for a moment of silence, meditation, or prayer. And gentlemen, please remove your hats. As we gather this morning in celebration of our academic accomplishment, we are grateful for the completion of this stage of our lives and for the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. We acknowledge all those events over these past years, the joys, hard work, and even the difficulties at times accompanied by sadness. For without them, we wouldn't have become the men and women that we are today. We ask for the strength to change our global landscape, for strength of mind and spirit to productively coexist with our fellow human beings, and for achieving peaceful solutions to our global problems. May our new alumni never forget this part of their lives, and may our efforts prove fruitful. Go in peace. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize three individuals, two of them who are up here on the stage this morning, who combined have served Texas A&M International University for 88 years. Ms. Candy Hine, who is not with us this morning but will be here later today, Associate Vice President for Institutional Research, is retiring in mid-July after 23 years of service to Texas A&M International University. <laughs> Dr. Conchita Hickey, Dean of University College Conchita, please stand, is retiring at the end of this month after 39 years at this university. And President Keck, who is leaving us to take the helm of Texas A&M University at Commerce after 26 years at Texas A&M International University, 15 of which has been our president. Which we, we wish each of you success in your new endeavors, and please don't forget Texas A&M International University. Well, congratulations, Texas A&M International University Spring 2006 graduates. This concludes our ceremony. Thank all of you for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Celebrate your success, for your journey had just begun. And you get several hours on, on the rest of the graduates because, you know, they're going to graduate later in the day. I ask those of you uh, who are in the audience to please remain in your seats until the stage party and the graduates have recessed. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>